In this video, we are going to add a repoiled side stripper in the third bumper round. This will be related to a kerosene product. Okay, so double click here. It will be added in the same way. This is sort of a revision. So, side product. Here we will have our side, uh, side product, but, uh, side stripper, but it will be repoiled. So, here we the shoe side stripper, and you can edit from here. Or you can go to site operation input export here and you add from this section. So in this case, we are going to add from this one. We for the um, uh, kerosene, we are going to um, take it from tray number nine and we return it back to tray number eight. Okay, so in this case, don't forget to add the side stripper because this is just an image. Uh, Okay, so here we add it. So its name would be kerosene, kerosene side stripper, and it will be taken from or the draw will be tray number nine, and it will be returned back to tray number eight. Okay, so we have our draw product. It will be kerosene product. Okay, so this is our last product, and also we need to add. Uh, okay, all is uh, added okay, here and rebuild size stripper so we don't have to add steam in this case. So we will install it. Okay, so after installing it, we now need to return it to the monitor by opening this one, opening the column to add our information to the monitor. And now we it's it sort of makes it up. It's this one, it's not active. This one is active to organize it. Double click, click on the active, it will add it in the bottom. So, another click, it will add them in the top. So, now we will find out that this one is empty. This is the kerosene side stripper product flow, and we are given its value to be 62 meter cube per hour. So, we double click to open it, so we have information for size, uh, kerosene side stripper product flow. And in this case, it's a standard ideal volume and its value is 62 meter cube per hour. So in this case, we will add 62 meter cube per hour. So this is our first information. The second information that we have is related to kerosene side stripper. A side stripper boil up ratio because in this case we are using a reboiler so we are given that the kerosene side stripper boil up ratio is 0.75 actually you haven't entered it but it's actually a uh, there uh, double click here to see how it looks from inside if we are going to add a ratio so this ratio is in a molar and it's related to the reboiler okay so now it's all good all the active have a value okay so now it's time to add the kerosene bump around okay so we will go back to add the kerosene bump around close this one or from side here we add from this one or from this one Okay. In this case, choose whatever fits you, but in my case, I'm going to add a direct bump around here. And this bump around, we are going to call it kerosene bump around. And it's again taken from tray number 9 and return it back to tray number 8. This one. And you can add a bump or not. In this case, we are not going to add a bump. And here we are going to install it. After installing, you will have in this time three active specs. In the previous video, when we were talking about diesel, we have only two um, uh, active specs. Okay. For this one, we are going to add the specs that we have. Okay. For the bump around of kerosene, we have the flow rate. This is our first active. Okay. This is the rate. So double click to open it. We are given that the flow rate is 330 meter cube per hour. So it's 330 meter cube per hour. Okay, we are talking about standard ideal flow and the kerosene bump around. So this is our first information. The second information is related to the active spec related to duty. 
so it will be the duty so double click here and this is our duty we are given that the duty of the kerosene bump around equal to negative 4.43 to the power of seven okay kilogram per hour so we have enter with data that we need to add now it should be converged but it here it is not converged so we need to go to the design and the monitor and again we want to organize them so these are the active values and these active values all okay so i'll make them at the top so all of these values value okay so if we press run here it will be take some time then it will be converged so now we have converged our column and we have entered all the data that we need if we go back we started from nothing with this material stream of the atmospheric then we added steam at the bottom of the column after that we add a diesel AGO and also no we didn't have we didn't add the uh, steam for kerosene okay because kerosene uses a reboil now we if you look here you will find that you have all your products okay so you have here kerosene then diesel then EGO then atmospheric users okay this is the order and before you have nafta and the off gases or your light gas okay this is actually how it looks uh, as products from the distillation column but we want to see more what is happening inside okay so it will be a little bit messy but this is uh, the inside of the environment so click it and add the flow sheet from the top into the flow sheet okay and it will take a while and it will be up okay so this is the what this is what is happening uh, in the background okay so this is the condenser and we mentioned that the condenser was lower will lower temperature from 120 to 40 and after that from the drum at the top of the drum we will separate off gases or light gases and also nafta okay so these are our top products from the condenser and the waste water is important because here you are feeding a bottom steam that might be condensed and you need to remove remove some for the material bands you return some of the cold nafta to uh, the column and it is called a reflux okay it keeps the top of the column um, cold here you will have your side strippers this these are one two okay we need to make this one a little bit close and here if we look here you will have a three side stripper this is a one this one is for ego this is the second one this is for diesel and this is the third one this one for kerosene here this is a little bit different because here we are using a reboil so you have a reboiler here if you double click here it will open a reboiler okay but for the other cases here you are adding a steam only a diesel steam or a ego steam this is your column it consists of 29 tray and we haven't added a reboiler here this one is the pump around of diesel so you take from the tray 17 and lower the temperature and send it back to tray 16 this is the pump around for kerosene so if we put it here it will take from tray number one uh, nine lower the temperature and send it back to tray number eight uh, we have we are missing one pump around the bump around that we are missing oh, okay this one this is for ego you take from 322 almost and send it back to 21 okay so this is how it looks inside uh, the column there is other thing that i want to add actually we have a special palette here for uh, opening entering the environment of the distillation but we will discuss it later i want to go back and here i want to open the worksheet if i open the worksheet here you will have other streams that we didn't add through this course like the desolder but if i go back to the simulation and enter here the environment and open the workbook associated with this uh, uh, um, environment you will have our material here okay 
so this is the material stream that we have this is the material stream this is the composition so each feed if I want to look at the kerosene composition okay the kerosene composition okay I'll keep moving down 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 and more because you have a lot here and a kerosene is not still not found here we keep going down and in this time we still EGO this is diesel we still go down to until we find kerosene or diesel okay so this is the diesel and the kerosene and this is the composition okay so uh, what else here the energy streams because we have uh, added a reboiler and so on this is the unit operations okay like um, here we have a mixer okay this is related to the the, the whole uh, um, flow sheet not the only this one okay if I want to know about the duty maybe this is a cooler here if I want to know about the duty go to the parameter here you have the duty of the cooler associated to the bumper round of kerosene okay so I'd recommend now after finishing this uh, simulation to enter every every unit operation and to check the information inside it like opening this one this is the top uh, the condenser at the top and it's called the three phase condenser because we have off gases nafta and also water that will be condensed enter the performance and check the performance the worksheet gives you the overall information okay so that's at this point you need to know more uh, by yourself about the, in the data uh, inside each column uh, later in this course we are going to adjust column operating conditions